I am going to take my passport picture today, which feels really weird because I haven't, as you know, been very active here on social media in a while. It's just, there's a lot going on and I will explain one day, but just the time is not now. Um, I'm just going to start by prepping my skin. Um, I actually went out to dinner last night, last night with my sister and our boyfriends. And so it just was really nice being able to like catch up with her. She lives kind of far from me right now, but I'm so excited because she's moving closer. So I did my makeup for the first time last night and it just has been so long. Like I need to get my eyebrows done. Um, but right now we are in the process of moving. Um, we applied to a new house and I'm so excited about it. So, but I don't really, I'm very like, what's the word? Um, superstitious a little bit. So I don't really want to get it too much into it, but, um, I just am so glad to like actually finally get out of this place because it's just been too long. And while I am very grateful for what this home has been able to do for me and my daughter, it's just, um, we've outgrown it and we're on to other things in life. So it's nice. Uh, this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Moisture Essence. Had this for over a year and it's so good. I love it so much. It really just like balances your skin. It just gets everything to the right like levels and just makes your skin look really glowy. So I love that. Um, I'm going to go in with the peptide glazing fluid. I always just go in with a bunch of this because it's so helpful for my dry skin. And I honestly find this to be better than like a primer. And I'll sometimes go in with a primer. I'm gonna do some lip balm. You guys are over this. I've been obsessed with my like road salty caramel, but like I found this because I was reorganizing my makeup in here. I found this underneath my little rolling cart right here, and I was like, oh my god, I forgot about this stuff. It's so good. Like OG Kopari. Um, what are we gonna use? This is very nostalgic for me, but I feel like yeah, we'll just use this. I'm going to use this Chanel Hydra Beauty Camilla water cream. This smell reminds me oddly of high school. And there was one product I used from Chanel when I was in high school. Um, I literally saved up money just to buy it. So it just reminds me of this product, but I don't know if it was this cream. I think it was something else that I used from them, but, um, I do like it because it does have like very, like a very glowing property to it. I don't know if you can see it, but let me see if I can kind of show you guys in the, like it has a little bit of like a pearly essence to it. Um, I don't know. I really like it. But I've been using this a lot and especially if I want my skin to glow, this is like one of my favorites. All right. So what should we start with today? I think... I want to take this out because I do want to try the new Kylie Cosmetics um, Kylash Volume Mascara. This is what it looks like. I'll show you. I'll try it on later so you guys can totally see it. But the Kylash right here. Okay, so we're gonna do some cream contour before we go in with foundation and all that stuff. We're gonna be doing a little bit of heavier makeup because, from what I understand from the you know, um, the looks that are coming out of this passport makeup look. Um, it's a lot of heavier makeup, which makes sense because it's on camera and always on camera. You want to add more. Um, so I'm just going to use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury glow bronzer in number medium two. And I'm just going to warm my skin up with this product. I have noticed like I watched Mary Phillips do this trick 
as you guys know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go on my Instagram or on my TikTok. Um, a lot of people are doing their makeup this way because Mary Phillips, this is like her little trick. She likes to, I think she calls it underpainting or something. So you go in with like your bronzer and stuff before your foundation. And she uses something, like she doesn't use like a dark contour, like something like this which is what I usually would use, but I noticed that she uses something like more bronzy than like contour. So I kind of want to try that. And if I need to, I will contour more, but you know, we'll just try, see how this works. But see how this looks like bronzy now? Like this looks cute. I want to like blend it out because it looks a little squatchy. Hmm. Okay. Well, guess we'll try later. <laughs> I had this Boing concealer from Benefit that I just got. I got a big like PR package from Benefit. Can't seem to find it though. I'm gonna use this Dior Backstage Flash Perfection Perfector Concealer. Just need something a little lighter. This is not even as light as I wanted it to be, but it's fine. We will work with it. I have to get my eyebrows done so bad. I've just been like on a journey lately, so. Oh my God. But so many new makeup launches and like I do really feel so bad about like how behind I've been on just regular posting. Like I keep getting stuff sent to me and I get guilty because I'm like, you know, these brands are reaching, like sending me this stuff and not that I, I'm obligated to post when you're on PR, but like part of me wants to, you know, like I feel guilty because I have a relationship with a lot of these companies and like part of my job is just to try new stuff and like share, you know, so I don't know, I've just been kind of having like a little bit of a hard time, like being a little hard on myself, but it's all right. Um, and I'm getting back to it. So sometimes you have to like give yourself the grace to like breathe and get yourself together. I mean, I kind of talked a little bit about the podcast, um, like what I've been dealing with. Like I've, okay, I guess I can like just kind of say because I'm like halfway through it, I guess. But um, I am currently like, in like some legal stuff so not it's like all family stuff related um and it's never fun dealing with it I mean if you've been through it you know what I mean and it just it's not something I like to talk about because it's just energy that I have to give at a certain time and like right now I just don't have the bandwidth like I, I have to like put boundaries on myself about how often like I give myself the energy to talk about these things because it just it's yucky it feels like gross you know and I don't know I just I will talk about it you know but just like right now I like I said I'm just trying to get through it. I'm not totally through all of it, but hopefully by summer it should be like, this should all be done. And like, hopefully I don't have to go deal with this stuff anymore, but you never know. Sometimes it's never ending. Um, but this concealer kind of like is where it's at. I forgot about this stuff. I'm going to take my beauty blender, start to blend all this together. Leave me alone. I'm ending with message upon message. Ugh. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I can't, so much of it, and I know I'm talking in like circles a little bit, but I, I just like, it exhausts me to the nth degree that like when I do things like this, where I dedicate time to myself and to you guys, like I don't really want to talk about those things because I feel like so much of my life I'm dealing with that real life stuff, you know? And here, 
Like I've always said, YouTube and makeup and beauty have always been very like therapeutic for me. Um, so yeah, that's why I just like, and I'm like dealing with it right now. Like as we speak, it just doesn't, it, yeah, like stuff just doesn't leave me alone. But, hmm, it is what it is. Okay, so what should I do next? Oh, we need to do like the foundation part, right? Okay, so the foundation I'm going to use, I've used it a hundred times here. I think, I don't even know if I've shared this foundation with you guys. Um, but I've used it on TikTok for sure. And it's the MAC Face and Body. It's the Studio, Radi Studio Radiance Face and Body. And mine is in C5. I really like this stuff. It's so lightweight. It feels like nothing. Um, it almost feels like skincare, almost like my peptide glazing fluid. It's, I, I don't know, I just like that kind of thing, that kind of foundation, and it just gives like zero. Like, I don't really need a lot of coverage right now. There are days where I do, but today is not one of those days. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit. And you can build with this stuff as well, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to take my, oh, I just got it all over my skirt. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just go in circular motion. Start from the center of the face and work my way out. I am going to use a little bit of this tiramisu shade. It's a little lighter um, just to brighten right underneath. Um, also, this is one of my favorite concealer brushes if you guys have not tried it. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I need to do a video all about my favorite makeup brushes. Um, I just have to go online and make sure that they still make a lot of these because when I have makeup brushes, I have them for a long ass time. And I realized like recently I was going to link this like Morphe brush and I realized they don't even make it anymore. And I was like, what the hell? Why? Um, so I'm going to just make sure everything's like that. You, Cause the most annoying thing is when you ask for a video and then I make it for you guys. And then I can't link this stuff for you guys to buy because a lot of you guys want to buy them. Cause I'm recommending like you know, these products and that it's just annoying. Like I even get annoyed when people share things that like I can't buy and it's like, <laughs> okay, well really that looks amazing and I would like it, but I can't. It's like almost like a big giant tease. So I get it girl. I might go in with some like contour though because a lot of it looks like it's very lifted. So you're shooting from like the front and everything just looks really snatched. So I might do that. I will do that actually. Let's just let's just do that. So like my cheekbones here, like the hollows of my cheekbones right here. I think I'm gonna go a little higher and like go down like that. You know? Did I do that like too high? Also, like, my face is not symmetrical, so how do I do this? I feel like I just, like, smeared shit all over my face. Like, do you see this? What did I do? It was, like, so nice before. I think I did this wrong. I'm using that translucent by Laura Mercier. And I'm gonna um let's do my brows. So I'm gonna use this Refi brow gel. Because I really need to get my brows done, but oh my god, they're like out of control my eyebrows, so all the sculpting gel to like help as much as possible. 
Oh my God, I swear I have like 15 minutes just to brush my eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna just let those sit for a sec. I'm going to go in with Sunkissed. This is the Morphe brush I always talk about that I cannot find online or in store. It's the M448. Now I could be crazy, but I swear to you, every time I look for this thing, I cannot find it. Um, so I'm going to just layer some blushes today. I'm going to do this one kind of like underneath, like right here of my cheek. It's like a lot, but Right here, like anywhere where the sun would hit is where like I like to use this product. Cause it's called sun kiss and it really does mimic like the look of the sun hitting your skin. You know? Yeah, like my brows, they don't have a shape. Like this one's like, eh, uh, eh, and this is like, I don't know, they just, whatever. I don't know what to do. Like just push them up, I guess. Try to give them more shape. I have no idea. And the thing is, is like, I've, what? Oh, it just makes me so mad. Eyebrows like piss me off. Like a sunset strip would be nice. This is also a really good color, but it has really nice, like peachy, corally tone while still being in like the sun kiss vibe, you know? So it blends really well. I'm gonna bring it like right underneath the eye. I'm going to use this Merit Bounce. I really like this, actually. It's really easy to just, like, do your nose highlight because it's circular. So you just kind of put it on the edge and then go up. See, it's so cute. And I'm going to use Give Me Sun for Give Me Sun by MAC. I'm going to do this all over my face just to help with the bronziness. My makeup always feels like lost without this product. Ever since I started using it, I just like can't live without it. It's so good. Is this one? I actually really been liking this like rare beauty one. It's called Flaunt. And it's really good. It's a beautiful like golden-y color. But you don't want to use too much because you can look, I guess on camera, it always looks really, really good. But in person, you can look a little cray cray. Look how different my eyebrows look. Point triangular and you like shave it down. <sighs> I'm gonna put some mascara on and then I'll be right back. I just put my mascara on. I did use the um, Kai Lash, which is good. It's definitely, um, it's not anything like life changing, but it definitely, is good for like every day. If you're somebody who loves like a mascara that separates but gives you a little bit of volume, um, this is a really good one. All right, so for lips, I have a bunch of new lip liners from RMS and I'm so excited because I actually put a ton of these into my cart when they first launched and then I just didn't pulled the trigger for some reason, and then I got all of them in the mail. So I was so excited. This is Nighttime Nude. I 
I even got some like Makeup by Mario ones that have been sold out for like the longest time. Oh, here's one. I got almond and then Travis I also have as well, which is actually right here. It's a really good one too. This one? Oh no, I think this one. Yeah, this one. Skin Sane 2. Mmm, it's very pretty. Last but not least, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Dior blush. Remember when this was like all the hype? I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna add it right to the apples of the cheek. And then right here. One thing I forgot to do actually was powder underneath my eyes with my gorgeous Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. It just doesn't. Um, I may insert the photo of how the photo turns out either here or you can look on my Instagram. I'm going to take some pictures of this um, because it's very rare of me to be, have my makeup all on. It just feels so weird. But it feels good, you know? Like it feels nice to have my makeup on too. God. The concealer was here the entire time. Gotta be kidding me. That was like the perfect shade too to use. 